Okay guys, we'll give you a little uh, update on the CUDA. You haven't seen the CUDA for a while, have you? Except in background shots. Let's turn off this radio here. Okay. So the CUDA is up and running. Chris got all the wiring done, got her all tidied up underneath there. He fabricated and made this uh, holder for the gentleman's tack. No oil pressure gauge there. No, it's not original, I know. But at least he didn't cut the dash up and put it there. That can always be removed. We got the hood all fitting nice. Nice lines, gaps. You can see that. Looking beautiful, look at that. Doors, fenders, everything. So basically what's left here is now what we're going to do is we're going to get it, we're going to throw a little weight in it and get the alignment done. Get all the alignment done. We like to do this stuff before we paint it. That way there, it just, you know, it comes home, it's freshly painted, you're not messing with anything. All you're doing from paint is putting a little bit of chrome on it and then off to upholstery it would go. And the dealer, or the customer I should say, is going to deal with the upholstery. He's going to take that on over the winter and then he'll be driving this bad boy next spring. And he's going to drive this car back and forth to work every day from Abbotsford out to uh, out the Chilliwack down the freeway every day. Pretty cool, eh? So that is what's going on there. But yes, so it's going to go in, goes in on Monday, going to get aligned, going to get some subframe rail connectors uh, put on. And away we go. The Carmagia. Mike is working away on the Carmagia, looking very good. Get over here, you guys, where he was on the, on the driver's side there. He's got all the heater channel in, the rockers on, front section of the quarter panel on. Customer is bringing us these rear sections. You can see how rotten it is up in there. Those parts are all coming. They're going to be here tomorrow, and we'll take care of that. Floors are solid on this little beast though. Look at them floors, which is surprising. Never been replaced. Solid all throughout here. Nice little video just to have, just in case the lady decides, you know what? I need to get rid of this car. <laughs> I don't know why she would now, because I'll tell you, it's gonna be a beautiful little car when it's done. So, that's what's going on right there. So there's what's going on. Pizza oven truck, I call it the pizza oven truck, the 50 state Chevy. Bruce has got it all blocked down, ready for final primer. Front end is off it. Inner fenders, you saw in a couple videos ago, are all painted satin black. Grill, bumper, all that. Inner, um, uh, what do you call it? Inside door panels are painted the Indy Ivory white. Customers going a dark factory green on this truck now. Had several colors in mind throughout the build, but now he's decided to go the dark green. So yes, it's on a 92 Ford chassis if you're running diesel. I'll tell you one thing, for those fans out there that don't get it, you know, putting a Ford and a Chevy or on this chassis, if anyone is out there though, with one of these big trucks and is looking to do this, these cabs literally bolt right on these chassis and even the front inner fenders, we didn't have to cut or move anything to get around like the shock mounts and shit like that. It just went right on there like it was supposed to be. Obviously we made body mounts up and stuff like that and rad support and bumper brackets. You know, Chris had to do all that, but that's what's going on. Okay guys, so hey, thanks for watching. It's always good time at old time. And as the CUDA says, we'll see you next time.